Charles Koch is one of the richest people in the world. And depending on whom you ask, he's a titan of industry, a dark money political boogeyman, or the philosopher king of the libertarian movement. And although Koch isn't big on consuming cannabis himself, he's now going public with a long held belief. Cannabis should be legal nationwide. And so he's putting his name and nearly $25 million of his $45 billion fortune to influence criminal justice reform and cannabis legalization by the end of 2021. Charles Koch is also a political influencer. And right now he's being thought of as the person who might be able to span both sides of the aisle and convince politicians to legalize cannabis on the federal level. So criminal justice reform has been a big issue for Charles Koch and the Koch Network. You know, starting in 2015, he asked his longtime general counsel at Koch Industries, Mark Holden, to basically start a campaign to um, kind of bring about a lot of reform in, in criminal justice. You know, and that was kind of like the beginning of the strange bedfellows arrangement where somebody like Charles Koch and President Obama, you'd never think they'd agree on anything, but um, in criminal justice reform, they really found common ground. Cannabis prohibition was kind of the next step. Marijuana has been effectively outlawed in America since 1937. 37 states have legalized medical use and 70% of Americans now believe that cannabis should be federally legal. Charles Koch has a, a very libertarian view when it comes to, to marijuana. He sees cannabis prohibition as a basic infringement on personal freedom, but he also sees it as a destructive public policy, uh, which adds to America's mass incarceration problem. He also thinks like we've learned this lesson before. Uh, we've seen what alcohol prohibition did, uh, which it, it didn't stop people from drinking. Uh, it created more crime because when you criminalize something that is widely used, People don't stop using it. In July, Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer and Senators Cory Booker and Ron Wyden introduced their long-awaited federal legalization bill. So basically what Schumer's bill does is give the states the rights to legalize or continue the ban, but it lifts the ban federally. So empowering the states to do what they want. That's the definition of states' rights and definition of small government. So framed that way, it's a conservative issue. It would be hard to have a conservative kind of argue that states' rights is, you know, in their their party's philosophy. However, it's unclear whether or not this bill could pass once formally introduced. Schumer readily admits he doesn't yet have the numbers. He needs at least 10 Republican senators and all 50 Democratic senators for it to pass. And another issue is that President Biden does not fully support legalization. You know, Valerie Jarrett, senior advisor to President Obama, told me somebody like Charles Koch could be a, a person who kind of brings both sides together. The people on the right, especially who see Charles Koch coming out on this issue, that moves the line. Uh, well, an interesting thing that uh, Randall Meyer, this lobbyist, said is, is that he's talked to over two dozen uh, politicians in, in Congress on the right and left. And he says that Koch has basically given cover to people who were on the fence. You know, what he believes, what he takes stances on really moves the needle. Why he's doing this is really for philosophical beliefs. He's fighting for criminal justice reform because that's something he wants to do. Um, and he has the resources to do it. And this issue of cannabis legalization nicely dovetails into his philosophy around criminal justice reform.